We get right back up again, and when we do, the world's gonna hear the roar of our engines. Skyfing around in the parking lot, uh -huh. and, and I saw a beautiful uh, silver Porsche out there. Luxury cars have become almost synonymous with celebrity lifestyles. When success and fame bring abundance, no vehicle price tag seems outrageous for these stars. They navigate the roads in ridiculously expensive rides, turning their vehicles into extravagant symbols of their wealth. Clint Eastwood, for one, has an exotic car collection that represents luxury, achievements, and even artifacts of his legacy. Which of the Clint Eastwood cars are limited edition? Which other celebrities have astonishing car collections? Join us as we take a look at the car Clint Eastwood and 13 other respected celebrities drive in real life. Number 14, Clint Eastwood. Take a look at Clint Eastwood's real-life car collection. The exotic cars shed light on the lucrative pay scale in the film industry. Clint's assortment of cars boasts various values, and one notable gem is his 1975 Ferrari 365 Berlinetta Boxer. This classic Ferrari acquired by Clint for $270,917 represents more than just a luxurious ride. In fact, it holds historical significance for the iconic Italian automaker. The distinctive Cavallino Rampante badge, now synonymous with the Ferrari brand, made its debut on this very model. The Berlinetta Boxer has proven itself to be a piece of automotive history. Under the hood, this masterpiece is powered by a 12-cylinder engine churning out an impressive 360 horsepower. With its pop-up headlights and five-speed manual transmission, the 1975 Ferrari 365 Berlinetta Boxer exudes a blend of sophistication and performance. It's a vehicle that was designed for Italian aristocracy or, as fate would have it, a renowned American movie star like Clint Eastwood. Only 387 Berlinetta Boxers were manufactured by Ferrari between 1973 and 1976, and interestingly, 88 of them were right-hand drives destined for England. Initially sold in Italy, Clint Eastwood became the proud owner of this automotive masterpiece in 1977. Clint, being Clint, added his personal touch to the vehicle by giving it a unique roof. He cherished this classic Ferrari until 1985 when he decided to part ways with it. The car eventually ended up in Japan and then made its way back to the United States in 2011. Still, the impact of this car on Ferrari's legacy and its place in Clint Eastwood's car collection is enduring. Number 13. Nicolas Cage Nicolas Cage is another accomplished figure in show business, whose wealth is intricately tied to the success of his films, particularly the blockbuster hits he produced in the 1990s. Despite facing a financial crisis at one point, Cage had to part ways with some of his prized possessions, including a significant portion of his extensive car collection. However, he managed to retain 10 of his cherished vehicles, showcasing his enduring passion for automotive excellence. Nicolas Cage's love for vintage cars is obvious, and among his notable acquisitions is the 1958 Ferrari 250 GT Pininfarina, a classic beauty that comes with a hefty price tag of approximately $3.6 million. This vintage Ferrari, known for its timeless design and performance, stands as proof of Cage's discerning taste in automobiles. It's not just a car. It's a piece of automotive history that reflects his appreciation for craftsmanship and elegance. The financial setback did little to dampen Cage's enthusiasm for collecting and enjoying high-end vehicles. His 1958 Ferrari 250 GT Pininfarina is just one jewel in the crown of his remarkable car collection. Vintage cars, with their unique charm and historical significance, have a special place in Cage's heart, and he continues to invest in these automotive treasures. Looking ahead, Nicolas Cage has projects in the pipeline, indicating that he's poised to replenish his wealth and, undoubtedly, support his enduring passion for vintage cars. The prospect of earning more money aligns with his desire not only to maintain his existing collection, but also to expand it. After all, 
Acquiring and preserving such expensive cars requires meticulous planning and dedication, something Cage is well aware of. Number 12. John Travolta Let's delve into the lifestyle of the renowned John Travolta, an accomplished actor, singer, dancer, and pilot whose success spans back to the 1970s. With a staggering net worth of $250 million, it's no surprise that Travolta embraces a life of luxury. One notable facet of his opulent lifestyle is his choice of transportation, a Rolls-Royce Phantom, valued at approximately $410,000. Beyond his contributions to the entertainment industry, Travolta has made headlines for his unique residence choice in Ocala, Florida's Jumbo Lair Aviation Estates. Here, he's not just a resident, he's a neighbor to the runway, living in a community designed for those who share his passion for flying. Travolta, a licensed pilot with a fleet of aircraft, including a Boeing 747 jumbo jet, has seamlessly integrated his love for aviation into his everyday life. Travolta's daily commute includes taxiing a Boeing 747 from his home to the runway. Living in an airport community provides him with the convenience of flying in and flying out, showcasing a lifestyle that goes beyond the ordinary. When he's not navigating the skies in his 747, Travolta opts for the luxury of a Rolls-Royce Phantom for his terrestrial travels. While the Phantom may seem like a modest choice compared to his airborne extravagance, it's worth noting that this elegant automobile comes with a hefty price tag of $410,000. Travolta's choice of wheels is a reflection of his discerning taste and a testament to his appreciation for automotive excellence. Travolta's journey from the 1970s to the present day has been marked by hard work and focus, earning him not only fame, but also the financial means to indulge in the luxuries he enjoys. His story is a testament to the possibilities that success in the entertainment industry can bring, allowing individuals like Travolta to not only live out their dreams, but redefine the standards of abundant living. Number 11. Beyonce Knowles. Hollywood's power couple, Jay-Z and Beyonce, not only dominate the music industry, but also boast some of the most jaw-droppingly expensive cars in their garages. Jay-Z's collection alone is estimated to be worth a staggering $15 million, showcasing a fleet that goes beyond mere transportation. It's a display of luxury and opulence. Now, Queen Bey's collection might be smaller compared to her husband's, but it's nothing short of noteworthy. What's intriguing is the element of gift-giving in this power couple's relationship. Jay-Z, a big-time gift-giver, has received many of his high-priced automobiles from Beyoncé on special occasions, adding a touch of romance to their already glamorous lives. One standout gift was on Beyoncé's 25th birthday, when Jay-Z surprised her with a timeless gem, a 1959 Rolls-Royce convertible silver cloud. This vintage beauty, valued at a cool $1 million, isn't known for its speed, but its luxurious and intricately designed interior makes it the perfect fit for the Queen Bay. It's a symbol of not just wealth, but also a testament to the thoughtful and extravagant gestures that define their relationship. The 1959 Rolls-Royce convertible silver cloud is a classic in every sense. Beyond its monetary value, it carries a historical and cultural significance, reflecting the elegance and sophistication of the era it hails from. Owning such a vintage car is not just about having a mode of transportation, it's about possessing a piece of automotive art that tells a story of bygone days. Number 10. Marlon Brando The influence and success of Marlon Brando, the Hollywood legend, extends far beyond the silver screen. One of his noteworthy acquisitions was a 1955 Ford Thunderbird, a classic car that, at the time, was valued at around $2,444. Now, spending over $2,000 on a car might not seem like much in today's context, but back in the day, that amount was considered substantial, even more so when compared to the average earnings of a typical American, 
which would not have reached that figure in six months. However, for Marlon Brando, one of Hollywood's most recognizable stars during his era, such a purchase was a walk in the park. Marlon Brando's prominence in Hollywood was marked by his exceptional performances in films like A Streetcar Named Desire, Julius Caesar, Sayonara, Superman, Apocalypse Now, and The Godfather. His cinematic prowess earned him a spot among the 100 most influential people of the 20th century, a list that included iconic figures such as Charlie Chaplin, Marilyn Monroe, Frank Sinatra, Lucille Ball, and Ronald Reagan. Beyond his on-screen success, Brando was a force to be reckoned with, both in his craft and as a cultural figure. His impact went beyond the confines of Hollywood, making him a real legend in every sense of the word. Interestingly, despite the ups and downs that often accompany fame and fortune, Brando never found himself in need of a bankruptcy lawyer throughout his life. The 1955 Ford Thunderbird in the possession of Marlon Brando was more than just a car. It was a symbol of his status and success. This classic vehicle, known for its stylish design and performance, mirrored the charisma and elegance associated with Brando himself. It's a testament to his taste in automobiles and his ability to effortlessly navigate the lavish lifestyle that came with his Hollywood stardom. Number 9. Chuck Norris this legendary figure is known for his martial arts prowess, acting, and a Toyota Tacoma that reflects his down-to-earth nature. Carlos Rey, or Chuck Norris as we all know him, is more than just an action star. He's a versatile personality with a range of talents. Apart from being a well-known actor, he's a playwright, martial artist, and a former member of the U.S. Air Force. Chuck's accolades include six World Professional Middleweight Karate Championships, a testament to his unparalleled skills in the martial arts domain. Even today, he remains at the top of his game, showcasing that age is just a number for this multi-talented individual. Now, when he's not demonstrating his martial arts prowess or entertaining audiences on the big screen, Chuck enjoys a more relaxed life on his ranch in Texas. After amassing a staggering $70 million from his highly successful career, he invested in real estate, creating a serene haven alongside his lovely wife. But Chuck Norris's investments extend beyond real estate. He has a practical side, too. He opted for a Toyota Tacoma, a reliable and versatile pickup truck that cost him around $26,000. This choice speaks volumes about his practicality and appreciation for dependable vehicles. The Toyota Tacoma is renowned for its user-friendly technology, spacious interiors, and durability. It's a favorite for those who appreciate off-road adventures. And Chuck Norris aligning himself with this sturdy pickup is no surprise. It perfectly complements his rugged yet grounded persona. Chuck's Toyota Tacoma is a reflection of his pragmatic approach to life. Even with his success and fame, he chooses a vehicle known for its reliability and functionality. In a world where flashy cars often steal the spotlight, Chuck's choice of the Tacoma stands out as a nod to simplicity and efficiency. Number 8. Sylvester Stallone Sylvester Stallone's remarkable journey to the zenith of Hollywood stardom is a journey that epitomizes the American dream. From his early struggles in New York to the creation and portrayal of iconic characters like Rocky Balboa and John Rambo, Stallone's rise has been meteoric, leaving an indelible mark on cinematic history. This unyielding spirit, evident in the roles Stallone played, extends to the vehicles he chose to ride. Stallone's preference for the G550 is hardly surprising. The vehicle, much like his iconic characters, combines a rugged exterior with a heart of luxury. Take Rocky Balboa, for instance, an underdog street fighter with a heart of gold. Similarly, the G5 High 50, beneath its tough appearance, hosts an opulent interior featuring leather upholstery, state of the art tech, and other luxury amenities. However, the allure of the G550 for Stallone goes beyond its lavish appointments. 
the SUV's performance is commendable, boasting a turbocharged V8 engine that unleashes power reminiscent of Rambo's relentless energy. With the roar of its engine and unparalleled off-road capabilities, the G-Wagon promises not just a ride, but an experience. One that resonates with those like Stallone, who have battled through life's rough terrains emerging stronger. Stallone's roles, whether as the tenacious boxer or the indomitable soldier, have consistently depicted resilience, power, and an uncanny ability to overcome adversity. These roles have resonated deeply with audiences globally, creating a persona larger than life. In many ways, the G550 is the automotive embodiment of these traits. Its towering presence on the road is proof of its enduring engineering and design, much like Stallone's lasting impact on the cinematic world. The Mercedes-Benz G550 is not merely another luxury vehicle as it makes a statement. The statement proclaims that elegance can coexist with brute strength and that one can traverse rocky paths and still bask in the comfort of plush interiors. Stallone's choice of this powerhouse reflects his life story, where he blended the rough punches of life with the finesse of unmatched artistry. Number 7. Robert Redford Robert Redford's choice of automobile is the 1964 Porsche 904 GTS. Redford, known for his chiseled features and undeniable charisma, has left an indelible mark on the silver screen, from breakout roles in Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid to directorial masterpieces. His career is a testament to adaptability and immense talent, painting evocative tales on the cinematic canvas. Off-screen, Redford's choices are equally fascinating, none more so than his selection of the 1964 Porsche 904 GTS. Like Redford himself, this car stands as an emblem of class, elegance, and timeless appeal. In its heyday, the 904 GTS dominated racing circuits, its mid-engine design providing agility and balance that left competitors struggling to match. Beyond technical achievements, this Porsche told a story, encapsulating the spirit of an era marked by innovation, fierce competition, and a desire to push boundaries. When the roar of its engine filled the air, the 904 GTS wasn't merely announcing its presence. It was staking its claim as one of the greats. Redford's Hollywood journey, filled with accolades and timeless roles, parallels the story of the Porsche 904 GTS. From initial unveiling to eventual transformation into a collector's gem. Both have weathered the ebbs and flows of time, yet their legacies remain untarnished. In the grand tapestry of Hollywood, where stars often align with their favorite machines, Redford's choice of the 1964 Porsche 904 GTS stands out. It's not about the price tag or exclusivity. It's about the story it tells. It narrates a golden era of racing glories, technological marvels, and an actor who became the epitome of the Hollywood class. To encapsulate Robert Redford and the 1964 Porsche 904 GTS is to recognize more than just an actor and his car. They are enduring symbols of a bygone age. Yet, remarkably, they remain as captivating today as they were in their prime. In a world of ever-changing fads and fleeting fame, they stand as timeless reminders of class, elegance, and the enduring allure of genuine craft. Number 6. Clark Gable Clark Gable is often hailed as the King of Hollywood. In his possession was a majestic 18-foot Duesenberg model JN Convertible Coupe, a vehicle that played a significant role in initiating his headline-grabbing love affair with Carol Lombard in January 1936. What makes this Duesenberg Model JN particularly special is its rarity. Among the limited production of these convertible Model JNs, only four were ever built. Originally, the car sported a body by Rolston, showcasing the exquisite craftsmanship of the time. However, Gable, known for his discerning taste and hands-on approach, decided to give the car a makeover. Taking the Duesenberg to coach builders Bowman and Schwartz, Gable actively participated in the redesign process. 
he not only sketched out the specific changes he desired, but also got his hands dirty, playing a role in the actual work on the vehicle. This level of involvement from a celebrity in customizing their car was quite uncommon in that era, highlighting Gable's passion for his wheels. The Duesenberg Model JN, after its transformation under Gable's guidance, became more than just a mode of transportation. It became a symbol of the era's glamour and the star power of Hollywood's elite. The car's association with the love story of Clark Gable and Carol Lombard adds an extra layer of intrigue to its history. Number 5. Harrison Ford At 77 years old, Harrison Ford continues to captivate hearts, and one aspect of his charm lies in his impressive car collection. Among the gems in his assortment is a vintage Jaguar XK140, a vehicle that exudes both style and sophistication. While its approximate value is around $150,000 for Harrison Ford, a Hollywood legend who has left an indelible mark on the film industry, acquiring such opulent vehicles is a breeze. Ford's journey to stardom has been paved with iconic roles, and he's become a household name through characters like Indiana Jones in the enduring film series of the same name. His performances in notable movies such as Air Force One, What Lies Beneath, Apocalypse Now, and The Empire Strikes Back, have not only solidified his status as a talented actor, but have also contributed significantly to his financial success. With a huge sum of money amassed over the years, Ford has not shied away from indulging in his passion for remarkable cars. The vintage Jaguar XK140, in particular, stands out in his collection. This classic car, according to Forbes Financial Planners, holds an estimated value of $150,000. However, for someone of Ford's financial stature, this acquisition is just a fraction of his wealth. The Jaguar XK140 itself is a masterpiece. Manufactured in the mid-20th century, it represents an era of automotive elegance and sophistication, its timeless design, coupled with Ford's discerning taste, makes it a head-turner among car enthusiasts. Beyond its aesthetic appeal, the vintage Jaguar XK140 is a symbol of automotive history. The XK140, produced from 1954 to 1957, followed the success of its predecessor, the XK120, and became known for its enhanced performance and refined features. It marked an era when Jaguar was at the forefront of sports car manufacturing. For Harrison Ford, each car in his collection tells a story, reflecting not just his wealth, but also his appreciation for the artistry of automotive engineering. The vintage Jaguar XK140 is not merely a mode of transportation, it's a piece of history that Ford, as a car enthusiast, has chosen to preserve. Number 4 Al Pacino. Known for his smoldering intensity, iconic roles, and memorable voice, Al Pacino's influence in Hollywood, from The Godfather to Scent of a Woman, spans decades, captivating audiences with his talent and unwavering dedication. Much like Pacino's career, the Lexus LX he owns embodies a commitment to excellence, precision, and a pursuit of perfection. The LX model, renowned for its luxurious amenities, powerful performance, and timeless design, mirrors the core values that have defined Pacino's enduring legacy in the film industry. It's more than just a vehicle. It's a symbol of excellence and sophistication. Pacino's career is proof of raw talent, intense dedication, and the ability to constantly evolve. These attributes align seamlessly with the ethos of the Lexus brand, where the LX model in particular stands as a pinnacle of luxury and performance. The parallel between Pacino's craft and the qualities embedded in the Lexus LX becomes apparent. Meticulous attention to detail, a relentless pursuit of artistic truth, and a commitment to delivering an exceptional experience. For Pacino, it has never been about the glitz and glamour. It's about the craft, the story, and the impact. Similarly, the Lexus LX, beneath its opulent exterior, 
goes beyond mere luxury. It's about the drive, the journey, and the holistic experience it offers. Pacino's association with the Lexus LX serves as a metaphor for his career, delving deep into characters, finding nuances, and creating performances that captivate audiences. In the world of cinema, Al Pacino stands as a titan, an artist whose work has shaped the very fabric of Hollywood. Similarly, in the realm of automobiles, the Lexus LX stands tall, offering an elite and immersive driving experience. Together, they symbolize a shared commitment to excellence, a passion for the craft, and a legacy that endures through the years. Number 3. Rita Hayworth Famously dubbed the love goddess by the press, Rita Hayworth had her iconic 1941 Lincoln Continental painted in the enchanting hue of paradise green. Rita, the epitome of glamour in the 1940s, captured hearts not just on the silver screen, but also as a top pinup girl for G.I.s during World War II. One of her most renowned roles was in the musical Cover Girl, which solidified her status as a cinematic icon. The American Film Institute recognizes her as one of the top 25 female motion picture stars of all time, a testament to the lasting impact of her contributions to the film industry. Now, let's delve into the story of the Paradise Green, 1941, Lincoln Continental. This luxurious automobile wasn't just any car. It was a gift from the renowned filmmaker Orson Welles to Rita Hayworth. Wells, known for his cinematic genius, purchased the Lincoln and had it delivered to the 24-year-old actress while she was working on a movie in Georgia. This generous gesture marked the beginning of a remarkable connection between Rita and her elegant set of wheels. Rita Hayworth cherished the 1941 Lincoln Continental for about three decades before passing it on to her secretary's family. The car, now infused with the aura of Hollywood's golden age, found its way into the hands of private collectors. Subsequently, it underwent a meticulous restoration, a process that aimed to preserve its vintage charm and cinematic legacy. The Fully Restored Paradise Green 1941 Lincoln Continental became a sought-after gem, attracting attention at auctions dedicated to classic automobiles. The story of this car serves as a captivating chapter in the broader narrative of Hollywood's glamour and the tangible connections between celebrities and their cherished possessions. Number 2. Sam Elliott Sam Elliott, known for his distinctive deep voice and signature mustache, had a Hollywood career that spans roles exuding ruggedness, wisdom, and authenticity. From his cowboy portrayal in The Big Lebowski to his role in A Star is Born, Elliot's on-screen presence is magnetic, drawing viewers into a world where his characters feel deeply familiar. This grounded approach, characteristic of Elliot's roles, extends beyond the silver screen and into his personal life, notably reflected in his choice of transportation, the Chevrolet Suburban. In a realm where celebrities often align with the newest luxury brands, Elliot's preference is rooted in practicality and function over ostentatious display. For someone like Elliot, who values privacy and resides away from the glaring lights of Tinseltown, the Chevrolet Suburban is more than a mode of transportation. It's a trusted companion. It hints at his preference for a straightforward life, one that balances the glamour of Hollywood with the realities of everyday living. While many of his peers might opt for luxury sports cars or custom-made extravagances, Elliot's choice speaks volumes about a man who appreciates understated strength and values longevity over a fleeting moment in the spotlight. To truly understand Sam Elliot's choice, one must look beyond the metal and mechanics of the Chevrolet Suburban. It's about aligning with a philosophy that cherishes real-world utility, simplicity, and an unpretentious approach to life. In a realm where appearances often take precedence, Elliot's choice is a refreshing testament to authenticity. His journey in Hollywood is not just a story of roles played and accolades won. It's a tale of staying true to oneself. The Chevrolet Suburban, 
with its promise of durability and dependability, serves as the perfect mirror to this ethos. Number 1. Dwayne Johnson From his wrestling days in the WWF to becoming the highest-paid actor globally, Dwayne The Rock Johnson has solidified his place not just in the ring, but also on the big screen. No more the people's champ just in wrestling. He's now the champion of both TV and cinema. Now, when it comes to his off-screen persona, The Rock's love for big trucks is no secret. A true Ford man, he proudly owns a custom-built Ford F-150 pickup, which he considers his baby. But it's not just any pickup. It's a manifestation of his personal style and preferences. In fact, The Rock's association with Ford goes beyond his collection. He's the brand ambassador for Ford, the face of their advertising campaign. And it's not just trucks in his garage. A Mustang GT and a bright purple Ford GT Cruiser, used in the 2016 Le Mans 24-hour race, also find a home there. It's evident that The Rock's love for Ford extends beyond the streets to the racetrack. Now, let's talk about the challenges of being as massive as The Rock. His imposing frame struggles to fit into some of the supercars in his collection. The Ferrari La Ferrari, for instance, had to be returned after a quick photo shoot, a testament to the unique challenges faced by a man of his stature. However, a Rolls-Royce Wraith and a Pagani Huayra managed to accommodate his larger-than-life presence, although just barely. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and check out another of our interesting videos before you leave. See you on the other side.